Hello everybody. Today I am going to explain the lesson My Tiny Friends. After explaining the lesson, I am also going to explain all the back exercises. So, do watch the video till end. So, let us begin with the lesson My Tiny Friends. Last summer, I went to spend my holidays at my uncle's farmhouse in a village near Khandala not far from Mumbai. So, this is the time when the writer was spending his last summer holidays. He said that last summer he went to spend his holidays at his uncle's farmhouse and his farmhouse was in a village near Khandala. It was not far from Mumbai. Khandala is quite near from Mumbai. I had been looking forward to this because I always had a wonderful time there. Looking forward to this means waiting curiously that when he would go to his uncle's farmhouse. So he says that he had been looking forward to this time that when he would go to his uncle's farmhouse which was near Khandala because he always had a very wonderful time there. Whenever he had gone earlier, he had enjoyed a lot. I especially liked the pond in which there were many fish. So he is talking about uh, the last time when he visited last time. So he liked the pond in which there were so many fish. One day, my uncle and I went fishing. He showed me the place where some frogs had laid their eggs. So, he is telling that one day his, he went uh, for fishing with his uncle and his uncle showed him the place where some frogs had laid their eggs. The eggs had been laid in something that looked like the jelly that my mother often made at home for me. So, where were the eggs been laid, the eggs had been laid in something, in a kind of thing, that thing was looking like a jelly. So, the jelly you must have eaten at home, uh, your mother would have cooked, would have made jelly for you. So, that reminded him of the jelly that his mother often made at home for him. We watched as the jelly melted in the warm sunshine. The eggs inside hatched into tiny black creatures that wriggled about a lot. I called them wriggled, but my uncle said they were called tadpoles. So, the writer says that uh, since the eggs had been laid in something like jelly, so, they were watching that when the jelly melted in the warm sunshine, the eggs that were kept inside, they hatched into tiny black creatures. So, you know, the meaning of hatch is came out from the eggs. So, in the heat of the warm sunshine, the jelly got melted and uh, the eggs got uh, inside that jelly, they got hatched. That means the tiny black creatures, they came out of the egg and that wriggled about a lot. Wriggled means twisted and turned their bodies. I called them wrigglers but my uncle said they were called tadpoles. So the writer called all those black creatures wrigglers but his uncle told him that they were called tadpoles. So, what are tadpoles? They are baby frogs. The baby frogs are called tadpoles. They were strange little creatures. The tadpoles raised around in the water. Each had a tiny head and a tail. So, they were very strange little creatures. They were odd. They were looking very unusual. So, they were racing around in the water. And everybody was having tiny head. Tiny head means small head and a tail. 
I tried to catch them with my hands, but they slipped out from between my fingers. The writer was trying to catch the tadpoles with his hands, but they were slipping from his fingers. We caught some of them in a net, put them in a large glass jar and took them home. So what he is telling that uh, both of them, the writer and his uncle, they caught some of the tadpoles in a net and then they put them in a large glass jar, the jar made up of glass and then they took them home. My uncle told me to take a bit of weed from the pond. So what do you mean by weed? A kind of plant that grows wild. So his uncle told him to take a bit of weed, a wild plant, a kind of plant from the pond and put it inside the jar so that the tadpoles could click to it if they wanted. So his uncle told him to take a weed and put that weed into the jar so that if the tadpoles wanted to cling with it, so they could cling. Cling means hold on to something. So they would hold on to that weed, that plant in order to cling. My uncle then said, if you take good care of them, they will change into frogs. It will be just like magic. So his uncle told him that if he would be taking good care of all those tadpoles, in a few days they will turn into frogs and it will be just like a magic. I would love to see that, I replied. My uncle told me that there were too many in the jar, so I put all of them back into the pond. So the writer replied to his uncle that I would really look to love to see the tadpoles turning into frogs. So uncle told him that there were too many in the jar. The, too many tadpoles were in the jar. So he again put all of them back into the pond. All but five of them. I wanted to see them grow. So he just kept only five tadpoles in the glass jar and the rest of them he put back into the pond. I decided to name them after the pandas. Why did he keep five, only five tadpoles in the jar? Because he wanted to keep their names after the pandas. Pandas, you all of you must have seen Mahabharata. There were uh, pandas in Mahabharata. The names of five Pandvas were Yudhishthir, I would call it Yudhi for short, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul and Sahadev. So these were the names of the five Pandvas he, and he wanted to name the five tadpoles after the five Pandvas. Of course, they all look alike, looked alike and I could not tell one from the other, but I was sure that I would be able to do so when they turned into frogs. So the, all the five tadpoles were looking alike and the writer was not able to differentiate between them that who was Judy and who was Bhim or who was Arjun or Nakul or Sadev. But he was sure that he would be able to recognize them when they will turn into frogs. I kept a close watch on my tadpoles. My uncle showed me how to tie bits of food into a string and hang it in the jar from them to nibble on. So he was very curious to watch the tadpoles turning into frogs. Every day he kept a close watch on his tadpoles and his uncles told him how to tie the bits of food, the small pieces of food onto a string and hang that string into the jar so that the tadpoles could, um, uh, they would nibble on. What do you mean by nibble? Taking small bites of those, uh, of that bits of food. He also showed me how to pull it out again so that it would not make the water smelly and cloudy. So he, uncle told him that after the tadpoles would have nibbled the uh, bits of food, he should take it out that uh, uh, string so that the water would uh, not be smelly or cloudy. I left the weed into the water because the tadpoles loved it. 
so the tadpoles were loving that weed that plant they would cling on it and they would play with it so he left the weed in the water after a few days i thought that the tadpoles may be feeling cold as they had been in the water for so many days so the writer thought that uh, the tadpoles were remain were remaining in the water for so many days so they might be feeling cold so what did he do what did he do he placed the jar out in the sun a little later i saw that the tadpoles had come up to the top and turned over showing their bellies they looked as if they were going to die so the writer thought that since the tadpoles were in water for so many days and uh, they might be feeling cold so what did he do he put the glass jar under the sun and after a little while he noticed that all the tadpoles they had come up to the top of the glass jar and turned over showing their bellies bellies is the part of body below the chest they looked as if they were going to die so i was worried so i ran to my uncle he rushed out at once he took one look at the jar and said oh the poor things they are being roasted in the heat so he was very worried when he saw that all the tadpoles were coming up to the top and uh, he immediately called the uncle and when uncle saw the tadpoles he said oh the poor things they are being roasted in the heat what do you mean by roasting they got, they were getting burnt with the heat of the sun so he quickly poured out the warm water and added some cool fresh water uncle quickly poured out the warm water the water had got warm with the heat of the sun he quickly poured out the warm water and added some cool fresh water he told me that tadpoles and many fish die if the water is too warm then the uncle told him that tadpoles and fish must be kept in the cold wa- cold water and they and uh, they would die if the water is too warm i am so sorry i said i did not know this would happen i hope they will be all right so the uh, writer he was feeling sorry that he had kept the glass jar in the sun so he felt sorry and he said uh, that he hopes that everything will be all right and i was lucky my tadpoles didn't die they recovered when they felt the cool water so he was quite lucky because the tadpoles didn't die he had recovered they had started feeling better when they felt the cool water i was really excited to see them into frogs see them turn into frogs it was like my uncle had said just like magic so he was very excited that when the tadpoles will turn into the frogs they had once been only heads and tails but now they were frogs with four legs and a squat body so when they were tadpoles they were only uh, heads and tails but now they are they were having four legs and a squat body squat means short and thick the and their hind legs grew and so did the ones in front hind means back those at the back so the legs those were at the back they had grown and uh, the legs in the front they were also grown because the frogs had now four legs and a squat body what do you mean by squat short and thick body their tails became short earlier they they had long tails look look at their tails they had long tails but now their tails became short they sometimes came up to the surface to breathe so surfaces at the top of the glass jar so they had started coming at the up at the surface of to breathe i learned that frogs can breathe in water as well as on la- on land so as you also know that frogs they live in water as well as on land so they can breathe both in water and in and on land 
their new home new home was a big tub i placed the tub in a shady corner of the garden uncle said that the that the tub would soon that they would soon find new homes for themselves they would eat grubs and flies and remain healthy so now the glass jar was uh, getting small for them so their new home was a big tub tub and uh, the writer had uh, placed uh, the tub in a shady corner of the garden and uncle told him that uh, after a few days all the frogs they will not remain in this uh, tub they will find their new homes themselves they would eat grubs grubs means young beetles and insects and flies and they will remain healthy one morning i found the tub empty my pandavas had gone uncle told me that they would be safe and happy wherever they were now the frogs they were not staying in that tub one morning the writer found that the tub was empty all the frogs had gone from there they had found their new house though i was sad to lose my friends i was happy because they were happy uncle told him that wherever they will be living they would feel happy they had got their freedom they can find their own food themselves and although the writer had lost his friends but he was happy because his friends were happy so i have now decided never to take any living creature away from its natural home be it a frog a fish or any animal so the writer decided that he would never in future uh, take away any living creature from their natural home because the natural home of frog and uh, fish is water so he decided that he would never take out any uh, creature i mean any living creature from their natural home so just we are most comfortable in our homes they are also most comfortable in their homes so this was the story of uh, my tiny friends and the writer is nadia obrio and uh, now let us move uh, to the word meanings looking forward to this means wanting this to happen and waiting for it to happen very curiously hatched means came out from the egg tiny very small wriggled twisted or turned its body tadpole a baby frog or toad strange odd unusual weed a kind of plant that grows wild cling means hold on to do something nibble take small bites of cloudy means not clear or transparent belly is a part of the body below the chest roasted means getting burnt usually while being cooked over a fire recovered means started feeling better squat means short and thick hint means those at the back surface at the top or the top layer grubs means young beetles and insects and natural means what nature has given this exercise a and exercise c i have done separately and let us do exercise b first write true or false some creatures that live in water may die if the water becomes too warm this is true as the tadpoles grew their tails become longer this is false their tails become became shorter the tadpoles were kept in a big bucket false they were kept in a tub frogs can breathe in water as well as on land yes this is true let us move to the next exercise the author learned that frogs can breathe in water as well as on land so the creatures that can breathe in water as well as on land they are called amphibians so they are amphibious creatures so all the living creatures that live both on land as well as in water they are called amphibians so we can use a single word to describe a group of words so this is a group of words the creatures that can breathe in water as well as on land 
so one word that is given to this group of words is amphibians so for example a person who can use his right hand as well as his left hand equally well is called ambidextrous person so the person generally uh, we are in the habit of writing with our right hand some people they write with left hand but there are some people who can use their left hand as well as right hand equally well so such people they are called ambidextrous so now choose one word from the list given below this is the list given below from this list we have to choose one word to describe each of the following a person who writes for newspaper is a reporter a person who designs buildings and supervises their construction is an architect a person who drives a motor car to earn a living is a chauffeur a person who sells flowers is a florist a person who always wants to find out what others are saying or doing is an inquisitive the spellings are written here you can write the spellings from here a person who talks a lot is said to be a very talkative and dash writes books who writes books author this is author and author writes books a person who makes a journey to a holy place is a pilgrim so all the spellings and words are written correctly here you can see the spellings from here so next exercise we can form describing words as you know all the describing words are called adjectives from doing words they are doing words are called verbs or naming words naming words are called nouns so like slip the adjective of slip is slippery the adjective of burn is burnt the adjective of die is dead the adjective of magic is magical so now we have to form adjectives from these words so these words are either verbs or naming words so spoil the adjective of spoil is either spoiled or spoiled both are correct the adjective of smell is smelly cloud cloudy shade shady the adjective of health is healthy water watery sun sunny gold golden so we can change the nouns or verbs into adjectives let us move to grammar part read these sentences one day my uncle and i went fishing he showed me the place where some frogs had laid their eggs they had been laid in something that looked like jelly my mother often made it ja at home for me we washed as it melted in the warm sunshine the eggs inside hatched into tiny black creatures they wriggled about a lot i called them wrigglers but my uncle said they were called tadpoles so the words he like he they we and again uh, this them and they they are the words that have been used in place of the underlined words which are nouns like for my uncle he is used for frogs they is used for eggs some frogs had laid their eggs for for frogs they is used okay for my mother she is used like we they he he them they they are used in the place of these underlined nouns so the words that are used in place of nouns they are called pronouns we call such words pronouns so i you she him 
her, us and me, they are also pronouns. So what are pronouns? The words that we used in the place of nouns, they are called pronouns. For example, I, you, she, him, her, us, me, he, they, it, we, them, they, all are pronouns. So what is the exercise? We use pronouns so that we do not have to make repeating the nouns in a sentence. For example, my uncle has a farmhouse near Khandala. I am fond of my uncle. My uncle loves me very much. My uncle and I like to spend time together. My uncle teaches me many things. So in, the, in these sentences, the words my uncle is being repeated again and again. My uncle, my uncle, my uncle. It doesn't look nice to repeat my uncle in all these sentences. So now let us rewrite the paragraph using pronouns. So the, for the first time, we will use this word my uncle. After in the second sentence, after this, we will use he in place of my uncle. Like my uncle has a farmhouse near Khandala. I am fond of him. Instead of my uncle, I have used him. He loves me very much. We like to spend time together. He teaches me many things. So this he and this he and this him word is used in the place of my uncle. So him, he, he, they are pronouns. They are used in the place of my uncle. Now the exercise is rewrite these sentences using suitable pronouns. I have done these exercises separately. So let us see them. Like this. My tadpoles didn't die. My tadpoles recovered when they felt the cool water. So instead of this my tadpoles, we will use the pronoun they. My tadpoles didn't die. They recovered when they felt the cool water. For the first time, we will use my tadpoles only. For the second time, because they are plural, so instead of this, these my tadpoles, we will use they. I kept five tadpoles. I decided to name the tadpoles after the pandvas. So I kept five tadpoles. I, de I decided to name, instead of the tadpoles, we will use them. I decided to name them after the pandvas. My uncle and I saw some tadpoles. My uncle and I caught some of the tadpoles in a net. My uncle and I, I saw some tadpoles. Now, instead of this, my uncle and I, we will use we. We caught some of, instead of this, the tadpoles, we will use them. We caught some of them in a net. My sister is a good singer. My sister has won many competitions. My sister is a good singer. Now, instead of this, my sister, we will use she. She has won many competitions. Both my parents are doctors. My parents are dentists. Both my parents are doctors. So instead of my parents, we will use they. They are dentists. So instead of the nouns that are used for the second time, we will use the pronouns instead of those nouns. Next exercise. Rewrite these sentences correctly. So let me explain you here. this. You have already learned that nouns can be singular or plural. Singular means one. Plural means more than one. So when a noun stands for only one person, one place, one animal or one thing, we say that it is in the singular number. And when a noun stands for more than one person, more than one place, more than one animal or thing, we say that it is in the Plural form. For example, frog is singular, frogs is plural. Stories, singular, stories is plural. 
tadpole is singular tadpoles is plural belly is singular and belly is the plural form of belly so we can form plurals by adding s to a noun like beetle beetles leg legs sometimes we need to replace the last letter with ves or ies like if the noun ends with f so we will cut that f instead of that f we will use ves calves lady instead of y we will write ladies i e s if there is y in the end so we will cut the y instead of y we will use i e s we will cut this y we will use i e s with babies okay so some plurals are formed differently man men women women tooth teeth mouse mice child children some words do not change even in the plural form so there are some words that are used same whether they are used in singular form or plural form which are they sheep deer fruit fish so all these are the nouns that we use in the same way as they are used in uh, whether they are used in singular form or they are used in plural form so there are some nouns they are always used in plural form like caesars we never say caesar we always say caesars news shorts spectacles socks we never say spectacle we never say new we never say short we say news shorts caesars spectacles so some nouns are always used in the singular form like information there is no word called informations no it is always information luggage we don't use luggages furniture we don't say furnitures advice we don't say advices so these are the examples of the words that we always use in the singular form information luggage furniture and advice now the question is rewrite these sentences correctly so this exercise i have done separately the childs are playing in the parks this sentence is written in a wrong manner we have to correct it so the children childs is wrong the correct form of child the correct plural form of child is children the children are playing in the park we had to carry all our luggages on to the train so luggages is wrong instead of luggages we use we need to use luggage we had to carry all our luggage on to the train adult have 32 teeth so instead of adult we will use adults have 32 teeth teeth is wrong teeth is the correct plural form of tooth when the wolves attacked the sheep no one came to help the shepherd boy when the wolves wolves is wrong instead of this we will write wolves attack the sheep we don't use sheep the plural of sheep is sheep only no one came to help the shepherd boy the mouses are wondering who will bell the cat so instead of mouses we will write the correct plural form of mouse and that is mice the mice are wondering who will bell the cat So now let us do the question answers of this lesson. Read the line and answer the question. The line is I called them wrigglers. The question is who is saying saying these words? The writer is saying these words. What are the wrigglers? The wrigglers are tiny creatures who twist and turn their bodies. Why does he call them by that name? He calls them by that name. because they wriggle a lot what are they actually called they are actually called tadpoles next exercise these are long question answers question number 1 why did they put some wheat into the jar they put some wheat into the jar so that the tadpoles could 
cling to it question number 2 what mistake did the writer make and how did he correct it the writer made a mistake of putting the jar of tadpoles in the sun he corrected his mistake by saying sorry describe how a tadpole looks very different from a frog tadpole has head and tail whereas a frog has four legs with squat body next question where do you think the frogs went the frogs went to live in their natural homes so these exercises i have done i have explained to you already so by this we have finished all the pack exercises including all the question answers you have to learn these word meanings as well and uh, read the lesson once again i hope all of you have understood the explanation of the lesson very well and so now i will see you in the next video till then bye bye